Hello ladies and germs, today we are playing a game called Rise of Koreth and what Rise of Koreth is, is a Souls-like game that was released, I think today, on Steam. Um, so I don't know anything about the game, I might be wrong about today though, uh, but it seemed interesting and I kind of want to play through it. Now, <clears throat> I kind of did decide to stream this without first checking whether or not this game supports gamepad, and I don't think it does. I think it's... Like, you know. Oh, never mind, it does. It's just the menu doesn't, okay. But it's not just keyboard and mouse, which is not, which is hype. Because I have never played uh, any Souls like or Soulsborne games uh, with uh, a keyboard. The only thing I've ever tried to use a keyboard for was like the Dark Souls 3, 3 jump at the kind of start. Get on top of the roofs uh, ahead of time. Okay. Oh. Your health is full. Okay. Okay, so we have a skill on, like... Okay, why is the game audio suddenly extremely quiet? I think it was, like, way too loud before. Options. The options button doesn't do anything, okay? Well... I think, like, the background music is too loud and the actual, and the background noises are too, like, loud and the actual game noises are way too quiet. <gasps> An ominous circle! I am, I have always been afraid of circles, yes. Oh, what was that? Okay, that's one of my skills, I guess. Okay, so it's L, B, R, B, and then Y for my abilities. I gotta take the practice head to school ASAP. It jump scared me today when I came home. Oh no. Um, <clears throat> yes, I absolutely... Oh, I actually probably should move my face cam, huh? Like here, maybe. I'm gonna be slightly smaller, though. Ooh. Okay, come on now. You should also hydrate, you bitch. Okay, well... <coughs> Livix did redeem hydrate, so... Now we have sufficiently hydrated. Um, yeah, so the <laughs> all the tutorial thing is... R for the... Um, <coughs> the... The key, mouse and keyboard controls. I, I don't actually know how to like redeem anything, and I don't think I can like interact with any menus at all on my gamepad. I'm gonna have to like swap between uh, the stuff. Okay, so this game does work off of like a limited health potion pool, which is kind of not great. I think one of the best things about Soulsborne games uh, has been like Estus flasks that you regain with the bonfires. Another one has returned. Yes, they are drawn here by his voice. They cannot resist his calling after the curse has been placed on them. Ready this one for the turning. Soon they will serve him and even fight their own kin at his command. Renither, servant of Koreth. <gasps> Koreth is the, that one guy that was mentioned in the game's name, right? Also, like, another one of those fun little this is a new game thing is, is that when, when I'm actually, like, looking at the game window, the name of the game window is not Rise of Koreth, it's just Wrath. Same with like what it's called on OBS as well. well that's a save spot, okay, well. <laughs> exactly, and you almost ignored it. Well. Oh, I hate how floated that actual combat feels. Okay, there's no parries in this game either. Oh no. Is there a sprint button? No. But we do have a jump button, which is better than most Dark Souls games, I guess. Okay, so some notes we can read, others we can't. Interesting. Obviously, this is gonna be an unpolished game, right? It's not finished, it's a free game as well. 
Crystal of Vitality. Okay. Our max health has been increased. Yeah, the background noise is way too loud compared to the actual game noise. Chop, chop, chop. Why is there a save spot right here as well? I, I don't think we need them this often, right? Wasn't this supposed to be a Soulsborne game? Come on now. Okay, those are not enemy skeletons, but these are... Yeah, these... <laughs> I, I think the only Souls-like aspect of this game is just the dodge roll. By that logic, like, my modded Skyrim playthrough is <laughs> Souls-like as well. Prepare the body with Nightshade and the Bind Spirit spell. <clears throat> this should delay the soul's passing for just long enough for the Blight King to perform the ritual. Although some may be more resilient or resist altogether, they must be killed off quick. They cannot be allowed to attempt to, to break the curse. Cool. Another neatly hidden health potion, I guess. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, that's a barrel, not a chest. Never mind. Not me getting excited for nothing again. I don't think there's like a damage indicator for whenever I get hit, though. It's just my like actual health bar and only that. <clears throat> okay, but I do have an ability that allows me to heal, making the potions not all that interesting. Wait, I also have to click on the cross to get out of that. <clears throat> and Rotten Skunk has learned how to do permanent hair dyes at school. Hoggies. Um. Wait, what? Oh, the lever is here. Well, I, I mean, I'm assuming you already knew how to do them, but now you can actually do them in a professional setting as well. <gasps> it's a wraith! Oh no! Oh! Get hit by my cool abilities. Wait, does my health actually periodically fill up as well? Because the damage isn't like permanent either. Like we don't actively need to do anything aside from waiting, I guess. Jump while sprinting to jump further. So there is a... Okay, what is the... Okay, what's the sprint button though? I didn't know we had one. I still don't that know actually. Is it just like running over all and it's just called sprinting maybe? We Um <clears throat> I don't think this was meant to happen. I think I was supposed to die. Also, yeah, I basically knew how to use permanent hair dyes already, but like now I can do them at school for customers. <clears throat> well, it was released today, but and it was a free indie game, but still. Yeah, I love how, like, I think the game forgets <sighs> when we restarted a checkpoint, I think the game forgets all the all of the buffs we had and stuff like that. And also, like, which gates were opened and stuff. We're literally just, like, locked in here.
Heal. Get chopped up. We. I do love the fact that we have like these platforming sections in the game. When like falling out of the map hasn't been coded in. Like it's. Wait, there's literally a climbing animation, but not like uh. Falling out of the map thing. Okay, cool. I love that for me. Uh. <laughs> Well, I doubt there's anything hit. Oh, there's a potion, actually. Never mind. Yeah, no. I think every single buff we have received so far in the game, we actually lost by restarting at the checkpoint. Because we also, like, lost all of the potions. Wait, what are we even supposed to do here? Climb up on this and maybe jump there. But no, we don't get the extra jump distance. We... Okay, here we actually do die, though. <laughs> you died. Um... I'm slightly confused as to what I'm supposed to do, though. Oh. Well, restarted at the checkpoint. <laughs> I think one of the skeletons should see me already. Yeah. Actually, two of them, but hey, who's counting aside from me? What am I supposed to actually do then? Okay, get chopped up. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. Guess who just died again? Drunk German stream again. Well, this is one sider. Yeah, so we actually have to go back on the right side as well. So we get the. Oh, I love getting hit through the walls. That's lovely. Um, I con love the consistent AI as well. There's a skeleton inside of the wall. Okay, that's cool. That one was so close again. Okay, well. We have a fine iron sword. Hoggies. Do we actually manually have to equip it as well? I think we do, yeah. Twenty physical damage per attack. Oh. Hoggies. Um, OBS is telling me I've dropped a total of zero frames so far, so I'm assuming you... Okay, I don't think that's a jump we can make, though. It seems like we're supposed to get there. But there's no way up from there. Nothing there. Like, could it maybe be... Well... You know, I have to be running for it to even, like, give me the jump boost. And that's way too long of a jump. So I guess it has to be, like, this way. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Oh cool, I do love 
cli unfinished climbing mechanics. Like literally my favorite thing about Pali as well. <sighs> oh my god. Uh, okay. Wait, we're doing all of this stupid extra platforming for a singular health potion. Are you kidding me? We're now taking like fall damage as well. Oh, never mind. Wait, does the game even have fall damage aside from like falling out of the map? What am I supposed to do here? Ah. Okay. Um. Cool, cool, cool. You know what? Maybe we just beat this wall up for no re reason. Never mind, didn't work. Bonk. Get absolutely destroyed. We. Okay, and now. Oh, that was in fact not the interact button, but it's fine. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Our iron sword is so damn fine. Um, <laughs> well, we're gonna be stuck here forever, huh? Um, oh. Wait. Actually, something I do need to do. Yep. Um, oh! I got a picture of the tattoo as well. That's cool. Um... Hmm. Okay, yeah. We're back, we're back. We Okay, the hardest jump in the game. Oh and we did it. Oh lovely. We Ouch. Oh. Wait, suddenly they are actually, like, staggering from me attacking them. I wonder if that has to do with the new sword, maybe. Um. Yep, that's weird. <laughs> Okay, this guy is getting boned. Um, you know what? Maybe I should be like. I don't think there's anything important up here, right? Never mind. Wait, that's where the chests show up. Well. I'm actually not gonna say the worst one I've heard um, <laughs> on stream because it's from another streamer, but I can tell it to, to you like in real life at some point. Because anything I can come up with is not as painful as the one upon that I heard on from like Pirate Software, I think. Oh my God! Can we? Can we not? Wait, we're supposed to climb up there, so we can jump up there, and there's gonna be like a mythic item there, okay? Yeah, I know how these game devs think. I know what's going on through their evil little brains. Oh, well, actually, there's just like an actual place here. Huh. Didn't expect that. Okay, well. <gasps> oh, 
see, there is a hidden item like up here. We have the crystal of vitality. Now, obviously, the crystal of vitality is, um, you know, the first one we have. Because apparently we just lose everything we get, like, instantly. Um, also, the inventory is no longer closing. That's lovely. I do so love it when the game starts up the difficulty by just adding more enemies. Alrighty then, anything here? <gasps> we get... Another crystal of vitality. We just like use it. Max health increased, poggies. Oh, this is actually an interesting way of doing this. Where I... No! That's what I get for complimenting the game, okay? Maybe I should just not do that. Did I just jump through the wall there? Yeah, so literally everything, every buff we get gets destroyed the moment we die once. <laughs> Including the better sword as well. We're back to the starting sword again. That's fun. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? We're just restarting the game at this point. New game. Oh, I so do love these unskippable cinematic thingies when, when the game punishes you for <laughs> not restarting the game. So basically, it's just a very convoluted way of saying permadeath. Usually, like, games kind of... Usually games have, like, dynamic difficulty. Where if you die a lot, the game gets easier. But this game actually gets harder every single time you die. Which is interesting, I think. Like, yeah, dude. Uh... Uh, oh, you died. I guess you lose every single buff, and by the way, you can't, like, reclaim those buffs. Same with every single equipment, or piece of equipment and stuff. That's horrible design. That is so long again. That's floating on the floor cutely. That is cute. Um... Oh. We actually, <laughs> we actually do need to use the mouse and keyboard for that, huh? Yeah, the next enemy I see, I'm gonna just like, you know, in front of them. Uh... Oh, data was ex ex really excited when you came home. So cute. We need more data <laughs> emotes. <laughs> okay, you know what? I take back whatever bad things I said about like the combat feeling flow because that felt extremely responsive in an extremely rewarding way. That felt amazing. Um, oh, now that I think about it, I guess I'm like now blocking the inventory, huh? There's like... N wait, 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 actually. Oh yeah, we can't even drag the window. So this is gonna be my new face, face placement. 
Now you might think, wait, isn't that still blocking half of the inventory? But to be honest with you, if we actually make make it through this game with more than two rows of items, like that means we've like gone with zero deaths, and at that point it doesn't matter where my face is. I think we've done it already. Okay, well. Cool. Wait, there's a hidden area up there, huh? Oh, I actually have to use this table to get there, huh? From this start side of the table to here. Um. Oh, we get a number one victory royale. 23 physical damage. Oh my god. Yes, sirree. Anyways. Wait, why is there a jumping thingy up there as well? <laughs> that will get stuck in my head. Well, I guess you could say karma's a bitch. <laughs> you should have known better. Um, anyways. Okay, we get a Athos Crystal of Willpower, Brain Power. <laughs> I was just about to say I'm gonna start singing Karma. It is lovely to have so many JoJo Siva fans in the chat. Um, Okay, so I'm pretty sure, like, the better weapons actually have more stagger. Because I don't think the, like, normal worn iron sword actually did stagger. Like, okay, I get it. I've played Dark Souls games. I know walls kind of only exist for me. But the wrath, like, played in Litsa, like, using... Using like spells through the wall, <sighs> like that, like projectile spells as well, it does kind of feel bad, to be honest with you. Well, I actually made a mistake because I did take the checkpoint there. I shouldn't have. Because notably, now if I die, I actually do have to start the game from the get go again. Instead of just being able to return to that previous checkpoint. The key is to just like skip that one specific checkpoint there. Wait, are you just actually like typing out all the lyrics to a Jojo Siva song there? It's fun when I do it. Excuse me, you're not allowed to do that. You know what, it's... It's just 23 damage, right? Not that big of a deal. Kind of is that big of a deal. <laughs> okay. Now... I get it, you like Jojo Siva, but can we chill? Anyways,
Thou shall not spam Jojo Siva lyrics in my chat. Thank you. Um. <clears throat> in pain wait wait th does she actually just say if around oh my god Okay, okay, that can't be. Th th that's you self-censoring, right? Or that's like a Kyle Gordon typing a certain word as croqueting. That's not real. I refuse to believe that. It's not you censoring it, but it is you getting baited out of just typing out the lyrics and actually sending an actual message. Yermusa bitch, you should have known better. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, whatever helps you sleep at night. Boom. Ah! Yeah, I actually I just believe that you do remember all the lyrics. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Anyways, jump, jumping all around. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, that was a mistake. Wee. I see we have Jojo's biggest fan here. It would seem so, it would seem so. <laughs> But I do kind of like the outfit choice of her, like, look, looking like she's gonna tell me she's gonna wear my skin or something in Borderlands 2. Um, yeah, I don't think we can make that jump. Yeah, we don't have, like, a double jump available. That's a bait. And you can't bait me because I'm a master. <laughs> Okay, no. No, 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 no. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Um. Okay, well. about that ah. we oh. 
pa, 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 pa. Oh, hi, ha, 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 ho, ha, ha. Ha. Oh. I did kind of forget that the thing is actually hit me through the walls. No, 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 no. That's so... That's actually just evil. It stun locks me because it doesn't go away with the ga like gamepad. I can't escape that because I get stuck on the gamepad. That's actually cursed. Like, I have to click the cross with my keyboard and mouse. Well, my mouse mostly, but like... The fact that I can't, literally can't survive as long as I'm on a gamepad is actually just garbage. Wait, am I supposed to go down there? I think I am. Oh, kawabunga! Oh, I haven't been there yet. Oh my god. Yeah, this game was clearly not meant to be played with um, with a gamepad. Dude, one shot. Oh, and I took the checkpoint as well, so I don't have a sword anymore. Oh, yep. I'm screwed. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this... I hate this game, actually. Like... The one quality of life update that makes this game tolerable would, like, actually be such an easy thing as well. Just, you know, have it not forget what equipment you were wearing would be quite nice. Broski is kind of maybe, maybe possibly making obvious mistakes, because the stakes are kind of high whenever you just, like, perma-die from every single death. Oop. Brother, I need more than more than a cider for this game actually. No, 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 no. Why, why do they have to do this with the bottom of the level as well? Why add like extra cool stalactites, stalagmites, whatever they are? That stop me from like fall damage. The game is definitely difficult, just like a more in there it's gonna tilt you and like it's just like permadeath. But un unintentional permadeath type. We You know what? I don't think I'm ever gonna use like my stamina up ever. Like just a bit of stamina maybe, but like all of it never. I guess it's just like survival until I get like a new sword then, huh? Well, the good news is that they tend to be better than the previous. It doesn't like go backwards. Actually, now that I think about it, that's a lie because we've seen like four swords and one of them is definitely worse than a previous available one. Um, that's a big chest. Imagine it's like a mimic and just eats me and I die. 
Um, that big, it might as well like have a squirt inside of it or something. Come on now. Health potion. The only little tiny it's a bit of problem with health potions um, is that I don't think there's a way for me to actually use them as a gamepad player. Yeah. I've used every single button, button for something else, so yeah, it's literally not a thing I can do. So that's fun. Um Okay then. Please a chalice. I'm guessing it's going to be like here. Oh, I do love fighting like hordes of enemies when once again I don't have a weapon. I'm playing with the starting sword. Because the game just kind of forgets that you had weapons when you died. But also like locks you out of like retrieving those them. <coughs> Where did this guy even show, like, come from, dude? Oh my god. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think my headphones haven't been connected fully, like, for the whole entirety of the gameplay. And I didn't even notice. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. The options, by the way, still doesn't do anything, even if it's in the death menu. Okay, why would you... How, how would you see me, dude? How did you notice that now? It got even worse. And that's how I realized that they were kind of not fully connected. And the funny thing is that, like, the... The music audio sounds exactly the same. That's what I... The music audio is so weird that I... <laughs> that it literally sounds the same with my headphones fully connected as it did without my headphones being... fully connected. But now I actually have like actual like in-game audio that sounds fine. And I guess it's... quite a bit better of, a, of an experience now. Okay, the Reaper, I think, actually saw me through the wall again. We can always hope, right? We can always hope, we can always cope. Okay, ready for disappointment. Once again, my sword should do about, like, just under twice this much dam damage. If the checkpoint system actually worked. And as you can see, the Wrath had more, less than half health, so it should have been dead. Oh boy, do I love unfinished games. Oh. 
Hey, let me heal, please. This game kind of feels like blasphemous, but like instead of playing it, I just actually was the main character. That's how I describe playing this. Well, please be a sword. Also, the fun thing is that even though, like, you know, we lose all these perma buffs every time we die, even though they're supposed to be permanent, because the game just actually doesn't remember anything. Um, like it's supposed to. Uh, I don't think we've ever run out of mana. I, I think... <laughs> I think the mana buffs are actual, actively like useless. Oh my god, that gate opened. I don't remember where that is because I've been stuck on a death loop because once again I don't have my sword. Oh, we look back here. That's interesting. It would be cool and fun. Wait, wait. Actually, no, 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 no. It might actually be cool and fun. Now that I think about it. Wasn't one of the swords up there. Oh, wait. It wasn't, was it? I think I might be misremembering. back here okay we actually can make the jump back there unfortunately um Should we actually take this risk, though? Now that I really think about it, there's one... Should... No, I shouldn't save. Um, Because I want my previous save state to be in, in, like in a place where I can reach the uh, lever again. Because the levers are also going to re reset whenever I die. So if I save there, I literally like go back in the, in the game. Actually, if I save anywhere from now on out. Until I actually, like, pass the gate we opened. <laughs> because this game is actual garbage. Garbaggio. I hate it so much. <sighs> the things I do to entertain you. Is this worse than... Uh, okay, let's not go that far. This is unfinished. This is a completely new unfinished game that's available for free. This was someone's passion project. Come on now. This 
see those gamepad to keyboard swap mechanics that make this game completely unique. Oh my god! Ooh, pa, 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 pa. Okay, heal again. Under the okay, that's true though. But also Undertale isn't free. And Undertale has actually had enough time to develop, right? He just kind of had enough, huh? No, 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 I think I might have. Yeah, I don't know if I just got the hard luck out of like half of my progress in this game. Unfortunately, like, as much as I want to mold at that as well, uh, that's kind of a fair mechanic, because that's also how enemies react to my attacks as well. If you're not on solid footing, you can kind of just get ragdolled around. Um... Bonk. Okay, well, there's someone behind me. Oh. Okay, uh, up here, feel bad, up here. Up here, use the ability, jump here, climb up that this time, thank you. Um, but the loot isn't randomized or anything, so we at least know what we are getting every time we do stuff like this. I'm also kind of glad... This uh, that the cannons don't actually have the same pushback mechanic when you're in the air as like just normal melee attacks do. That would kind of maybe be a bit too much, in my opinion. I do enjoy a bit of suffering in my video games, but that would maybe be a bit too much. But at the end of the day, like... Games that aren't meant to be platformer games, making the platforming aspects too difficult is never fun. They dodge the checkpoint. I'll just pray, I guess. No! Oh, no, 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 no. Only just now came back, I was modding Lethal Company. Order at work. I think I was attacked during the time the animation was... Or the cutscene was playing. I should probably get Lethal Company, but the problem is that I never have like a pre-made squad for it, so... 
Okay, well, let's kill the skeletons first this time. Can we maybe... N oh. <laughs> Hello, Vizini HQ. You have joined in on me just absolutely suffering. It's the fun thing about this game is... Uh, that if you die even once, you're just immediately gonna be... Kind of more of a victim than a player. Um, <laughs> because for whatever reason, the game doesn't re remember any of the equipment you had. Just kind of forget same with buffs as well. Um, so you're basically at the state you start the game in, but you're way further into the game, and the amount of enemies you're facing are kind of based off of how, like, the equipment you should have instead of the equipment you do have. Um, I think I would genuinely play, get through this game like way faster if like it was just straight up permadeath. Because like the last, I don't even know how long of this game has just been me trying to get to the previous word that I remember the location of. And then just failing the uh, platforming section right before it. Hmm. <laughs> How would you be afraid of Art the Clown? He's just a silly little guy. Yeah, I'm the dev, I'm the real programmer. Oh no, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to insult the game then. Um, but it, it does bring a certain like intensity to the gameplay. Also for the, like, the ha first half of the game, I thought like the audio was all messed up. And then it turned out that my headphones weren't just fully connected. <laughs> so there's also that. <laughs> I don't know why, but the actual like background music played perfectly. But like any of the attacks connecting on stuff just didn't play because my headphones weren't connected. And I was like, oh wait, why does the music play well but all of the other audio is messed up? But I guess that explained it. Um, but hey. I'm not giving up. Yet, at least. <laughs> um. Okay, so here's the question. Do we go for the same platforming section and die again? Um. <laughs> Do we go for the same, ho same run there? Um. In the hopes that I get the better sword. <laughs> Or should I just continue in the hopes that there is a sword ahead? Oh, the fun part, something you haven't really optimized well, is um, that I'm playing on a gamepad. <laughs> so far I've died once because I opened a chest and I couldn't close it. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> there's no button to close any menus on the... Gamepad, aside from the start menu, which you can close with the start button, I think. Um, left thumbstick. Wait, it does? Wait. I don't see a difference in speed. <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> yep. To be fair, I have defended the game today from my chat. It's a little faster. Oh, so there isn't just like a huge difference in speed. Oh. Okay, that... Okay, I'm gonna actually check it on keyboard, because I do have... Oh yeah, it's the same speed. Yep. No, I mean, so far, despite it having some kind of major quality of life issues, I've 
aside from that, I have enjoyed the game. Um, you know, if I hadn't, I probably wouldn't be playing it anymore, right? That's, I think, a good measure of it. Like this, I think there might be a skeleton behind that wall, but as long as it doesn't see me, I think it's fine. Um, okay, now... First of all, these skeletons, I just need to remember not to take the checkpoint. If I get the checkpoint, I lose 20 minutes of progress. Glad to hear it, yep. Just don't take it. Okay, lovely. Oh my god, timed that badly, timed that badly. Oh no. Okay, Terrifier 1 is actually just a fun little movie. Thank you for the follow up, Vizini HQ, up, 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 up. Okay, wait. <laughs> I really am thankful. Sorry about the noises, I'm panicking here. <laughs> okay, we killed the Reaper, we killed the Skeleton. We're fine. Okay, so here's the new plan. The new plan is that I actually remember to pull this lever, because otherwise it doesn't matter. Is that I'm just gonna go through there, and I'm just gonna hope I find a sword quickly. How about that? I just trust. He watched the first one alone right before going to watch the second one. Wait, but... Okay, actually, a question about terrifiers. Is All Hallows Eve the same art the clown, or is it just like an identical looking clown? Because I kind of assumed All Hallows Eve happens first, then Terrifier 1, then Terrifier 2. Because if I collect it. Collect like correctly recall, All Hallows Eve isn't like only about like Art the Clown. And it has some kind of really avant-garde scenes that kind of maybe take you out of the horror a bit. But also Oh my god. Um <clears throat> We did it. Oh, <gasps> Wait, please don't tell me there's a boss fight when I'm going in without a new sword. I am afraid. I'm playing with starting equipment, literally. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to place my, like, hand above the keyboard. Well, there was a cutscene, obviously. Uh, so I can press Q quickly. Oh, that was such an obviously, like, telegraphed attack as well. Like, that was, like, literally good move design, and I'm just, like, dumb and didn't realize that, obviously, he was charging up a second attack after that one. Okay, oh. This might also be the first time in the game where I'm actively using the dodge button as well. Oh. Oh. Oop. Okay, well, just keep my distance. Oop. 
Get the heal. Oh. Oop. Oh no. Okay, so far so good. Um oh, oh I'm out of mana though. Okay, well please don't have a second phase though. <laughs> you got this. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna say about the boss. It was fun. Thanks for playing Rise of Kareth. Oh geez. Okay, the game was actually, well, the game had some major quality of life issues, obviously, but outside of that, it was fun. My One of my main gripes was kind of how the combat felt floaty. A lot of that was the audio, and turns out the audio was on my side, not the game's side. And I feel a bit guilty about blaming the game for that when it was me not fully connecting my uh, headphones. I think, because at the end of the day, you're supposed to come into the boss fight um you're kind of supposed to come into the boss fight with all the equipment you get before it right so maybe the stats could be buffed up uh the save system doesn't work yeah that that's true but like the stats for the boss could be buffed up a bit because it was reasonably doable like with the very starting equipment um so if you go in there with like the 26 damage per attack sword it's gonna it's gonna be maybe a bit too easy because that felt like the right difficulty right and that's with the starting equipment so the boss probably just like needs a bit of damage well actually i didn't see a lot of the damage because i didn't get hit a lot but you know just a bit of um like just an hp buff at least and the moves that I did like, and I did like how you could actually tell what he's gonna do from his animations. I feel like a lot of, especially MMORPGs, are really lazy with their attacks. Like, there's no way of figuring out what they're gonna do next. I think it would be cool if boss attacks would stagger as well. That's true as well, but... As far as making the boss feel unique and stuff, the game actually did succeed there. Um, and, yeah. Well... <laughs> Now I'm kind of biased because the dev is literally watching. Um, I'm obviously going to milk this for my YouTube as well. I'm recording the whole thing as well. But yeah, I mean, would I recommend the game? Yes, obviously. You need to have a bit of patience for the game because the save system doesn't quite work. Um, but at, outside of that, I did enjoy the game quite a bit. Um, yeah, hey. For the YouTube section, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in the next one as well. Bye.